Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can create your own channel art for YouTube. It's actually a lot easier than you think it is. Today I'm just gonna use uh, two different tools. One of them is YouTube to upload the channel art and put it on my channel. And the other tool is Microsoft PowerPoint. It's a super easy program that you could use to create channel art. That's how I created mine. And as full disclosure, before I jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump to it. Here I am on my YouTube channel, and you'll notice that I have this channel art on the top of my page. It's kind of nice, nice little parallax effect as I scroll down. Um, so the first thing is, how do you change your channel art? So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your main channel page, and when you hover over the channel art, you'll notice that this little camera appears. So what I could do is I'll just kind of click up there, and what it says is drag a photo here, or if you prefer, select a photo from your computer. Um, so I could just select a photo file and then make that my channel art. Uh, what I could also do is I could click on your photos. Uh, these are all my uh, Google photos that I have, or they have just kind of a generic gallery that you could pull photos from. But what we wanna do is we wanna create nice custom channel art. Now uh, what Google has done is, or YouTube has done, is down here you have this how to create channel art. Um, so if I click on there, what you'll notice is there's a whole bunch of kind of guidelines for how you create channel art. What I wanna do now is let's actually create the channel art, and to do that, let's use PowerPoint. It's a very easy program you could use to create channel art. So I'm gonna open up chan uh, my PowerPoint uh, presentation here, and a few things that I've already done with this PowerPoint, I've already set the dimensions of the slide to match the, the size that YouTube wants. And the way I did that is if you click on design, you can click on slide size and custom slide size, and the width is set to 26.67 inches and the height is 15 inches, which is exactly the ratio uh, that YouTube wants. Um, so that's all already set up. YouTube also had this guideline that they uh, provide as part of the channel art. So you'll see here, depending on the device you have, so if you're looking at, say, a channel on a TV, you'll have bigger channel art. If you're on a desktop, a tablet, um, or a mobile device, the sizes will be different. And so they have this area called the text and logo safe area. So if you're gonna create any text or logos, if you put it in this darker area, you can be assured that your logo and your text will show up on any device, whether it's a TV, whether it's a mobile device or a desktop, your text will show up. So keep that in mind as you're creating this. Um, so what I've done is I have this PowerPoint presentation. I've also linked to it uh, in the comments down below. So if you wanna use this as a starting point uh, to be able to create your channel art, uh, you could work off of this. Um, so what I've done is here you can see my channel art and to create this, I'm gonna show you real quick how I created this in a bank, uh, blank slide. Um, so here I have a blank slide. I'm gonna get rid of the title and the text. So I'll go to layout and just blank. Um, so here I'm working with a blank canvas. The first thing I did is I have this gray gradient and to get the gray gradient, what I did is I went to design, uh, format background, and then I clicked on gradient fill. And then you could do all sorts of fills. You know, here I could go with yellow or I could go with blue. Um, so whatever effect I want. And then what I did is I also took a photo of myself. Uh, so here, let's see, I'm in a cool PowerPoint trick. They have something called the selection pane. Uh, and then you could, you could select any object on your slide. So here I wanna select my photo, so I'm gonna copy that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it in this other slide right here. So there's my photo. And another thing I wanna do is I wanna know, well, how am I doing against these guidelines? So I'm gonna also paste in the guideline slide. And what's cool here is I could click on this uh, format uh, picture option. I could also right click and then go to format picture is another way to get here. And I'm gonna click on this picture option and adjust the transparency. Um, so here, as I adjust the transparency, I can see where my face falls uh, within this area. So I know, you know, if it's a mobile device, my face will fit in there. Um, and now what I wanna do is let's insert some text. So I'm gonna insert, I'm just gonna type out my name and I'm gonna apply a different font. So we're gonna go with uh, Sago UI semi-bold. I kinda like that font. Uh, and then we're gonna go with white and we're gonna put that in here. And so uh, with this transparency on the other photo, you can see this is my safe area. If I keep it within this rectangle here, um, I know the text will show up. So I'm just gonna put my name there. Um, and then, I don't know, a lot of people say like new video um, every five minutes because I just crank these videos out so fast that they're just always coming out. Maybe I'll go a little smaller on that uh, because you know <laughs> maybe I don't want people to hold me to that statement. So maybe we'll go really small there. Uh, but there's my text, and once again, um, I'll kind of adjust the guidelines, so you just kind of make sure. So here, 
um, I'm showing up within the guidelines, but I don't need the guidelines to be on here, so I'm just gonna delete that. Um, and then there you see my channel art, and so what I could do is I'll go to File, Save As, and then I don't wanna save it as a presentation because you can't upload a presentation, but what I can do is I could save it as a JPEG. Um, YouTube accepts two different formats. One of them is JPEG, the other is PNG, uh, or a PNIG. Uh, I guess that's what you say. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and we'll say channel art blue. Um, so I'll just save that, and I just wanna export this one slide. Uh, so just this new one that I created. And what I can do then is um, if I go to YouTube, let's go back to my channel. Um, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'll go down to my channel art in File Explorer. Um, so let's come here, I have my channel art blue. Uh, what I could do is I could just drag and drop it. Um, I don't wanna do that since I don't want that as my new image, uh, but that's what I could do. I could just drag and drop that image and then that will appear as part of my channel art on here. And as long as you follow those steps of keeping your text and logo within this area, you could be assured whatever device it's on, your text and logo will show up. Uh, and that's really as simple as it is. It's super easy to create your own channel art. PowerPoint's a really nice tool that you could use to create your channel art. Um, has lots of, uh, you know, within PowerPoint too, you know, they have lots of graphic tools. So, you know, here if I click on the image, I could adjust the brightness, I could adjust the color. Um, so lots of different kind of um, control that I have uh, within uh, PowerPoint to be able to create this. Um, but that's an easy way to create your channel art. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you got an awesome piece of channel art out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other things that you wanna learn how to do, any other thing that you wanna learn about, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos that I'll create in the future. All right, well, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye.